Hey, hey, it's Maxi Tutorial number 11. Yes, what could be better than Max Tutorial 10? 11. It's better. It's my favorite. It is the big secret. I love giving this tutorial because when I figured it out, I was so happy. Um, it allows you to start moving ahead in Max and just learning voraciously. Um, and it's a fairly simple thing. Um, in the last video, we learned to use the tutorials, and they are fantastic. You can get all the technical background stuff, follow your the directions of your heart in Max. But with this, we get to sort of uh, ransack max. So let's just get a new object up. I'm going to type n and I'm going to type MIDI info. And I'm just going to tell you ahead of time that I have two reasons for doing this and I'll have to stop as soon as uh, we get partway there and let you know. So highlight the MIDI info and now option click on it and you should get the help file. So in the help file, we can learn all of these things about MIDI info. So what's MIDI info for? Well, it can be used for two things. One, it can create a menu of output devices, and the other, it can create a menu of controllers that are input devices. And our old friend, the U menu, is down here. Um, and this is just a sort of regular things that might be in here right now that would be seen on anybody's computer. Um, they were preloaded with the help file. But when I actually click on the one over here, you'll see that it reloads. And now it reflects all the um, output devices that are on my computer. So it has the audio units, uh, DLS synth, downloadable something synth, doesn't matter, audio units synth. Most Macintoshes have uh, audio unit synth. About half of the PCs out there will have, I think it's called a GS wavetable synth. Now, um, and the same thing with the controllers. Let me just finish up here before I get to the, the side track. Okay, so these are all the possible inputs. I don't, and they also refer to the buses. Buses are like channels that you can choose to move MIDI information around. And Max has its own two channels that it creates to move MIDI around on. All right, let's just stop for a moment and talk about people who, when they click these buttons, get absolutely nothing. What you need to do is install a MIDI program on your computer. And uh, I have one up here. It's called Loop MIDI. And I will uh, put it in the video description as well. This works and it's free for most PCs. I have not heard of anybody who is unable to use it yet. Um, anyway, install a uh, Loop back MIDI, we'll add virtual loopback MIDI cable. Um, Loop MIDI um, creates virtual ports, MIDI ports on your PC, and then you'll be able to connect to your wavetable synth, and you'll be able to connect to Max and all that sort of thing, and then this thing will start working. But you actually have to install it on your computer and probably restart your computer. Okay, that's the end of my sidetrack. Okay, now for everybody for whom this is working, which should be you now that you're back from installing Loop MIDI on your computer or some other MIDI program is fine. So um, you look at all these things and you're like, oh, okay, I see uh, MIDI info, bus driver, blah, 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 blah. Um, what is it that I was going to tell you about stealing? Well, the help window in Max is itself a patcher. You've probably noticed that it looks a lot like your patcher. It has a whole toolbar going around it. And weirdly enough, 
it has an unlock button. Oh my god, I unlocked it. Oh my god, I can edit the help file. This should immediately tell you two things. One, mwahahaha, I can steal whatever I want to. So I can just go and highlight these, copy them, which on a Mac is command copy and on a PC I believe is control copy. And then I can go back to my window and I'll just throw that one away. I don't even need it anymore. And I'll just look, there it is. So now I, d I don't have to put all these pieces together. I can just have this, you know, in my patch already. It's like, great. So I, I can have these things um, automatically put into my window. And the really cool thing about that is that then you can go and Oops, I didn't get them all, but I'm not going to keep these either. Anyway, but all I'm saying is if I was building a MIDI device, look how quickly I could do that. Oh, that was awesome. Okay. So, and then you could just go and say, oh, now I want the help file for a U menu. And I want, uh, you know, to be able to do all these things. I want to be able to auto -pop populate my uh, help window this way or something. You can steal that and stick it in there too. But in the meantime, we're going to close this. Let's go back and learn and look at this help window for a second. So we've unlocked it and I moved all this stuff around and now I'm going to put the help file away. So I'm going to say close and it's going to say, oh, do you want me to save it? Don't save it. It's really your copy of Max. But if you mess up your help files, don't save them. As long as you don't save them, um, they'll never change and they will be helpful. Um, if you find a mistake, of course, you could change it, but you probably won't. So just push don't save. Remember, don't change your help files unless you want to. Okay, just a word of warning. Um, now, um, hopefully, all of you PC users have gone out and gotten um, virtual MIDI um, ports installed on your computer and I needn't talk about this anymore but um, I'm going to show you another uh, nice way to steal um, in the last tutorial what was it we were looking at multi slider and it it just gave me an idea I was like hey there's that multi slider right and um, uh, I believe we looked under reference and we saw data to, uh, max data tutorial number one data viewing and it also was available not only from here but if you went up to help and then clicked on reference you could get to it too so we know we can click on this and get it let's do it this way just as a refresher for those who don't remember so we go up to help and we um, what did I do? What did I do? Where's my resources? Oh, I have multi-slider. Here, we'll undo that. Help. There we go, reference. Holy heck, I thought I had broken the whole program. Okay, so last time we, uh, we came here and we went down to Max Tutorials and we clicked on Tutorials and then, um, uh, we scroll down here to data viewing and that's where we would have gotten to if you open the tutorial on the other one. Now we, let's open the tutorial and remember this we were looking at it last time so this is in your tutorial. Well guess what it is also a max window and it has an unlock I know you're thinking to yourself don't tell me no it's too good to be true it's not too good to be true it just is the way it is you unlock it and you can steal the whole thing so just grab everything you want and um, command copy or control copy if you're on a PC and close that tutorial 
and you can even close this tutorial. You can get rid of this silly multi-slider. You don't need it anymore. And you can say paste. And um, here's a trick here. Um, uh, finger, hands off your machine for a second. Don't click on any single thing. Grab something and drag them all out of the way while they're all um, selected as a group. Because if, if you... Uh, if you don't, then you'll be sorry. Um, so here you go. Let's um, let's move this over here. We can get rid of some of this other stuff. There you go. We'll just put it over here. We'll get rid of that dialog, and we'll get rid of that dialog. We'll clean up a little bit here. We'll get rid of that, and we'll close the that guy. Hey, and move this over. There we go. Okay, so. Now we have the multi-slider over here that we um, were looking at in our last tutorial when it was part of a tutorial, but now it's part of our patcher and we can do anything we want with it. We can lock our patcher and just make sure it still works. Um, and here we go. Right? You own this now. And I should also point out something else. Hey, stop for a second. Um, if you're not hearing music right now, it's because your no doubt, double click on this, is not going to your synthesizer, which would be an audio unit synthesizer if you're on a Mac, or a wavetable synthesizer if you're on a PC, I believe. Um, but check this out. Um, this no doubt, is very much the same as these notes out. So I just wanted to point out that now um, we're not looking for a controller, so let's unlock our patcher and just get rid of this one for the moment. We don't need a controller, but we can take this and run it over to this note out, and now our um, MIDI info will cause this to pop this U menu to populate and then it will select where we want to send this. I'm going to command Y this into a neater. There we go. There we go. I'm going to get rid of this note out. There we go. And so you can see that you can start um, building stuff out of other stuff that you steal from your tutorials or your help files. Now, is that helpful? That is helpful. And I'm going to come back and give you one more helpful little tip in the next video. But for now, I'm just going to say uh, patch well and enjoy your music. And I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.